we go. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had Whoopsies. some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. How's your cut? Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? Her. I expected it to be cool, but that was, that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. Every trip we take together is memorable. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Well, she hey, cleaned up you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. The heck? There's like so, two rooms. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Did, did I have anything to eat? I don't know if I can handle just being on the ocean, not eating anything, just drink beer. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. They BBQ'd it earlier? You all but right? where's the food? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. Uh oh. So, I feel like the camera's gonna bite in us in more. the butt. Uh, yeah. Seemed a little the too underscore Crondor just subscribed. When is the bot playthrough? Yo, what up, Connor? When is the Breath of the Wild playthrough? Dude, Academy Academy After Hours streams, dude. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Yo, what up, Mr. Candy? 600k easy for this boat? I think, what did she pay, chat? It was like 24,000. Let's go up. 24K. Come here, you vixen. Oh, snap. Easy. Easy, tiger. Where'd she get back? <laughs> she literally said easy. <laughs> right here. Yeah, we saw the paper, Kronder. We saw the, we saw the, uh, the loan. I got the beers. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants oh. to find some sunken treasure? So oh. what do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? 
There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I mm -hmm. found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oopsies. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Sorry, Fliss. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. Fliss it's needs gold. Luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Oh, snap. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Wait, we know Fliss, we Fliss needs that show. gold, though, right, chat? She's in debt. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling Ooh. down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. Shut up, Conrad. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Oh Always an axe. Gosh. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah yes, the husband. And that's oh, why I've always no. been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and Sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so gross. Oh, hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come scary. on. That wasn't scary. That wasn't I think scary. you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no. Alex? Alex? Conrad? Fliss? Let's see. Can I, can I go between different people? I guess no, not. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this sounds, website. Sounds, sounds, sounds about right. Yeah, sounds, sounds checks out. Some good sounding advice right there, for sure. 100%. Oh boy. Oh boys, here we go.
List chat. Oh, it's the guy with the one eye. Gag the captain. So, you okay? I think so. on his face. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Uh, almost free. What's going on, boys? Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Get off! Get off of me! <laughs> what? 
Oh, snap. I was wondering where he was. Julia, we're coming back. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Dude, they have the worst. Like, Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, making sure they're we taken by surprise. Making sure they're hostages okay. still. They're coming. Tied up. Fuck, motherfuckers! Hey, it's, it's uh, there's a guy in a trench coat. Who is that guy? Hey, hey, are you okay? What did he do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. <sighs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. I thought the story was about a ghost ship, chap. Seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. Yeah, but, They'll hear yeah. it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. You don't know how to drive a boat, Pickle. bro. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys. Do you know what you're them. doing? Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Conrad. Okay, let's do it. Does Conrad even know what he's doing, One, Chad? Two, three, four, five, six. Buddy. Oh, buddy. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, now! You know what? I've had enough. Off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! <sighs> oh crap! I <laughs> shocks. I missed it. Oh no, dude! I failed. Bring them downstairs. I failed. Eat this. Use it if you have to. Oh, I failed. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Freaking fail, dude. Now. 
Arrêtez, bande de con C'est mon bateau Stop Ferme-la Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule Olsen Come here Oh, crap Which one of you is gonna tell me about There's this? There's three people. Manchurian goo. What does this have to do about the ghost boat? I think we're about to come upon the ghost boat. Midnight. <laughs> what the hell, man? You should have escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. You know what I like to hear? Nothing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? Yes. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and oh these guys, gosh, they dude. travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Oh my gosh, bro. You... you ch how dare Are you? you? Out of your mind? How dare you insult our queen? How did you come queen? up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you Alex set us up. Alex is asshole. Alex is tripping, dude. What a cork in it! Oh my gosh, dude! I suck at these. Dude, I, su I suck at these, dude. You come with me. They're so fast and just quick. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Lucas Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We, we, don't, we don't want no consequences, Jeff. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll Let's see you for drinks. Let's just get through this. On shore in a couple of days. And and we'll hit them another time. All right. We ain't killing our boys. Thanks, 
I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Shut up! Brad is under the bunk bed. He's hiding. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yep. yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. He is a big and boy. It's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> We're gonna let the ghosts take care of our uh, our stowaways, chap. We're gonna let the ghosts take care of those boys. Kind-hearted right? creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Give it to me, Daddy. Tempted? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Whoops. Yeah, it's a uh, quick, quick time events. There are some times where you walk, you know, you walk, you investigate, you look at items and things like that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Junior! Junior. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> they do matter. They do matter. <laughs> We played the quarry. We played the quarry and we, we got a pretty good ending. But there's like hundreds of different endings and stuff like that. That potentially could happen. Like this, I'm controlling my guy. Follow him. Over there. Bro, imagine walking in this place barefoot. <laughs> this is like the worst place to walk barefoot. This 
whole place is a floating death trap. This is the worst place to walk barefoot. Keep moving! My bracelet! Jerk! Oh. Trying to scare me with these. Oh. Trying to scare me with these little parlor trick jump scares. Don't you know who I am, dude? I survived Visage. We survived Outlast 1 and 2. We played through the quarry and survived. You don't know who I am. These junior Weenie Hut Junior scare tactics out. out of here. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. The mask of madness. Is this is this, this guy's crucifix? What we got in here, boys. Ooh, some clean clothes. On continue. Move. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? What would you guys do, chat, in the middle of that crazy oh, storm? Damn. Would you board the ship? You look for supplies. Oh, oh. It's over here. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick. First is 2400. Chalk the chart. Check the chart for rotation. The sea state here is hyper unreal. It's because it's a ghost ship, okay? It's a ghost ship. Everything about this ship is unreasonable. Again? This is the third time this week. None of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should just buck up. I would not board the ghost ship. I would just stay on my boat and sail away. Awesome! You're in boat to see! Okay. All of you. Into the room. Is there still gas in that lamp, chat? Or is it oil? Your boat would have never survived that storm. It's not just any boat, okay? It's the Duke the of the Milan. Place. <laughs> it's a ghost lamp. <laughs> Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. <sighs> Let's look for Second gold now. They let their guard down. We got to take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We got to get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just like hotwire or something? You cannot hotwire distributor cap. Okay, these it. assholes knew exactly what they were doing. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we 
got to take advantage and look around. We for pissed them off. They were driving by us and they got caught on our diving line. And then I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. And then Conrad uh, pissed them off. Excuse me. I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So yeah, dude, don't don't freaking yeah. don't disrespect our queen. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I. Mm, well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. Well, they're French Polynesians, and they are exploring the boat right now. They're exploring exploring this boat. We got some things to look at here, chat. They put us in a room. charging us for the damage to your boat i am now what do you think this ship hey baby works? doll i miss you like crazy three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms three months i've been on some shore leave with the guys and had a few beers but don't worry i'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift oh snap how's work i hope the boss of yours is leaving alone i know you I'm can take scared. care of yourself but i feel helpless being so far away and i want to keep you safe great get a lot of, of time all the places i'm gonna die on to think while I'm ghost ship. guarding the cargo holds it's dark and spooky down there some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children we'll be happy together forever love you so much specific you know have two children two children only real Real creepy. It's creepy about these glasses. Dude, can't Sean Ashmore just freeze the steel here and then we can break it? Here we go. Hey, look what I found over here. A vent. Come on. Fuck. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off. Yeah, keep 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 an eye out. <laughs> hey, Sean Ashmore isn't Doogie Hauser though. Doogie Hauser is the other guy. Right? They're, uh, Come take a look. It's right here. What is that? It's shining. Oh. What happened I th here? I think I will have another. 
Gangland, Ling of 1947, archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September with a statement of unearthing the... I feel like those are little uh, Easter eggs for the other anthology pictures, chat. We've got, we got a couple other anthology games like this to play, by the way, chat. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. We're confident, I boys. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. No, so dude, we don't want tennis. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? All right, we're barricading. All right, we're barricading. He can't do it. Hey, hey. There you go, Fliss. Let's go, Fliss. Okay, hey. so jacked bro that was messed up dude Frick. are we safe now stay quiet we need to keep going no fuck that we have to go back for fliss i'm the reason yes. she got snagged no way no heroics we gotta get as far away from here as we can Freaking way, dude. <sighs> no, got to go back for Fliss. What does this say? Ship personnel, guard regulations, double guard duty on all doors, no talking, no playing in games. Stuff. And then there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. Can you imagine the smell in a place like this? <laughs> Holy mackerel! What was that? Did you? Are you? Am, am, am I tripping right now? What? 
what, what the frick was that, dude? What was that? It's like a ghost of a woman or something. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have oh. been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all what just vanish? That, dude? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Let's go the flashing lights. Definitely nothing spooky in here. Definitely nothing spooky in here, chat. No way. Man, I'm so bummed. How could we have left Fliss like that? I feel incomplete right now. Oh, great. Oh, great. A poop stained, pee stained letter. Dear Ellis, I'm finally coming home. That is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. Can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon. He's got gifts for y'all. Sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best. Sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. It really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick and the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go and for now, honey, there's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to get real busy for a while. I'll write again soon. It was like he was taking a poop and then he heard gunfire, and then he dropped everything and went out. God, I wonder if Fliss is okay. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best, okay? Facts, facts. You hear that? Just hope, hope for the best. It's down there. This place is fucking massive. Chat, we're at 72 beats per minute. I'm, I'm cold as ice, chat. Cold as ice. Cool, calm, and collected. Four boys. Who the? Oh, snap, chat. Oh, snap. We got a premonition. Wait, who's he smack? Whose face was that? Oh, it's our boy. It's her boyfriend. Uh oh, it's her boyfriend. Mm. Looks like there's an event coming up that might put our friend in danger. By the way, where's Brad, man? He's just still chilling underneath that bunk bed. Meanwhile, we're over here exploring the ghost ship. Boys. Gold. Turn the light off. What 
am I? Let's keep doing that. Distributed cap. We need that. Who's got a sledgehammer? We gotta be careful, chap. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. It's a trap! Y'a quelqu'un? Yeah. I guess it's not really such a good idea, huh? Yeah, man. Not worth it. Well, yeah, look, the guy was right there. What? Oh, frick. Fliss! Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Nice, nice, chat. We could have messed that up. It's Grab Operation. We were following them. Operation them Rescue Fliss. So we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. <sighs> Operation Rescue the Queen. Sometimes the controls can be a little bit of cl little clunky, especially when it switches scenes. You know. What was that? You heard that? Maybe we can ask for Not funny. Yeah, very Resident Evil-ish. Sure about that? Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys, we gotta keep moving. I'm literally following you folks. Why are you blaming it on me? What we got here? Something to eat? Yeah. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just messing around. We need a knife or something. We need some weapons. Give us a gun. Hold on. We need to keep exploring this place. There's some other stuff here. Alright, 100%. Getting scared. We're jump scared right here. Jesus! God! Alex? What is it? I knew it was coming, so I didn't get jump scared. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoopsies, we totally turned her off. The meat, the meat giblets. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. Today's the whole beef just stopped functioning. Wait, where's beef casserole? Where's the menu at? Beef. Casserole right here. So it's Sunday. 
Sunday. Okay. Maybe that will come in handy, chat. Sunday. What's over here? Aha! Yeah, boys. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. Mm-hmm. 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 I guess you never know. We might have to use it. 100%, dude. The path has been chosen. So see, now that we took... So we could have either taken the knife or left it. If we left the knife and we found ourselves in a position where we could have used it, then we're screwed. But if we find ourselves in a position where we can, then we open up those opportunities for us. But it could backfire on us if we are wielding a knife. They could use it on us. You All know right. what I mean? What is this place? I'm thinking this we got to go through here. This is uh, the mess hall. The cafeteria. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I didn't uh, see anything. Did you see anything? Notebook. What does this say? It's in this notebook. Journal. We have been at Seattle long and I'm sick of the damn food already. The muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure, but I'm kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. June 19, Thursday. Every one of the U.S. papers was talking about the massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world just trying to keep our country safe and then there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess we'll have to go back counting sheep tonight. June 20th, Friday. Some of the guys have had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. No dice, chat. I'd take a whole crew of people to pin him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. June 21st, Saturday. Saturday. Um, I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room full of ancient solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but they never returned from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. Oh boys, oh boys, no dice. What else we got here? Is that it? Is that it? That's it, boys. Okay. What we got over here? We got another premonition, boys. See what I mean, dude? Did you just see what happened? Did you just see what happened, chat? That's Brad getting stabbed. Getting stabbed, possibly with the knife that we just picked up. We gotta watch, we gotta watch the choices that we make and consider the consequences. Wait, this isn't right. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. There was literally a guy like this to his, to his stomach. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me. We ain't, we ain't, we know this place is haunted. We know it. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do, turn around? We've seen all this before. She's cool, tripping, Jay. dude. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this. She's got okay. island fever, dude. No. 
this isn't working for me. What? What's the boat version? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? Show some respect. There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that. But do the ghosts know that? Okay, listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. Are we gonna this? explore this place now? Oh my gosh, dude. We might as well just get out. Don't disturb these bodies. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to open up these caskets? Shred, are we are we stand reckless? Just as long as the choices that we make don't get Fliss killed. I'm chill. But I feel like as soon as we open these caskets, we're unleashing... We're unleashing uh, zombies. Nah, dude. Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're... Secret. Maybe the numbers will come in. Handy. Dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes. Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents. And they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then and they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Whoa, dude. That's Why would they be legit. chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Hmm. Why is it chained and locked? What's the matter? Shh. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? They did the whole, they did the whole rat distraction technique. They got me. They got me good. Oh, why so spick and span? Someone's living here. Someone's been Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Holy crap, dude. Wasn't there wasn't there skeletons there? Oh what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? We we ain't messing with these bodies, dude. Watch, we're gonna touch it and it's gonna pop its eyes open and start chasing us. We need to rescue Fliss. Oh, whoa. There's another door over here. Ooh, we might need this medicine. Aspirin. Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where do you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? Yasmin. Yasmin, how dare you turn the lights off on me? Freak me out. How dare you? We ain't touching him again. What are you up to, Yasmin? Where the hell is Conrad? <gasps> Conrad? What the heck? Hey, what get the him some air. Conrad! What the heck, dude? Look at this 
this guy over here. Holy. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Holy. What the heck, dude? Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then he died, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Oh, he's a doctor, nope. I forget. Nope. This guy's a doctor. What else is over here? We got any more meds? I'm gonna turn these lights back on, Yasmin. <laughs> the controls. Connie? Yeah, catch up. Connie! Conrad? Connie, where the fuck are you? Oh, crap, dude. We lost Conrad. We lost Where's him. Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Shout if I want. Connie! Shut up, Julia. Where the hell did he go? <gasps> oh, crap, dude. I told you, Julia. I told you to be quiet. Now we got Sledgehammer guy after us. Fliss. Now, why would I tell you? He has no idea either. He doesn't know this ship. Maybe the zombies will get him. Fliss will get away. Tell me where we are going, damn it! Who's the actor who plays Fliss? Oh, pick that up. Smack him in the face. Hey, back off. Leave that alone. Dang it. You don't even know what you're doing. You just exactly. do whatever he tells you, don't you? You don't know? Man, this is the worst place to walk barefoot. Why are we walking barefoot? <laughs> Doing job, job Stop. applications. What's uh, what what job are you most hoping to get? Come on. Tripping, bro. You're tripping. These fucking places cursed. These off places cursed. I don't want to hear anything from you. 
It's the haunted smoke chat. You see that yellow? See that yellow haunted smoke? right in my ear hole. Please, you don't have to do this. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ, oh Christ. That guy, that guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on, you have no idea what you're talking about. Huh, where did all your friends go? I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? That was like a skeleton hand and it freaking moved. Oh, wait, what? Dude, that's a... He's not gonna let us see the premonition. Shoot. C'est quoi ce bordel? What's he tripping on about? What the hell? Dude, what is he? He's tripping, dude. What was he doing? Thought? Can you imagine how dirty your feet must be? It's locked. Now what? Can you imagine how dirty her feet are right now? Twist, they are friends. Well, we Hello? Are, the guy's gone now. He's gone. Is anyone there? Oh, crap. <sighs> that can't be a good sign.
Did you see that? Did you see... Did you see that? Nope. There's a little ghost. Ghost appeared in the smoke. Alright, I see a little... I see a little okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go left first. Maybe that sparkly thing is a little distraction. Oh, there's another sparkly thing. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So as as we move along in in the areas, just look at the environment. Sometimes you'll see like little ghosts or things appear in the left or right parts of the screen. Oh, Jesus, what happened down here? Charles. Charles Perez. Sorry about it, dude. Sorry, man. Shit. Shit, shit. Finally, shit, Brad. Shit, shit. Fuck. Welcome to the party, All right. dude. Alright, let's go. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on! Alright. Alright, alright. Alright, buck up. Buck it up. Buck it up, B-boy. Alright. Beat it up, B. Alright. Let's do this. Brad to the rescue. <clears throat> yes, Lazarus. Except we're not dealing with werewolves. We're dealing with ghosts. We're dealing with the ghost ship. Holy shit. Wicked underscores is now following. Yo, what up, Wicked? Welcome to the stream, my friend. What up? We're quite a ways into the game. Not quite halfway, I think, but we're we're getting close, I feel gotten past all the pleasantries of the intro the nice happy moments for those of you guys who are just tuning in a group of five friends who went diving in french polynesia came upon a world war ii wreck and within this vicinity they, they dived down and they found a map with coordinates and of course some french polynesian pirates came boarded our ship held us hostage brought us to these coordinates which found which which we found this ghost ship and supposedly there is some uh cursed gold upon this ghost ship and as and so the uh the captors the ones who who uh are the pirates they are roaming the ship looking for gold um the ones who were held hostage they escaped and now we're all split up on this ship and that's what's happening we're looking for our friends Tahiti. Uh, possibly. Possibly. They don't sit. Jeez. Was that Fliss? That was probably Fliss, dude, because she screamed. Hello? Oh my gosh. Who's there? Me out, dude. This can't be good. We gotta go save our woman. We gotta go save the, the Captain Fliss. By the way, chat, my heart rate, as you can see, is right below my face. As you can see, it's a roller coaster right now. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Shall we avoid the uh, the cursed smoke? I think so. Let's not go that way. That's the smoke we don't want, dude. We don't want none of that smoke. Lazarus, how's your day, my friend? Oh, that's 
It's our friend. Her bracelet. This is Julia's. Yeah. They were here. Okay. There we go. They were here. Aw, oh, man. Nope. <sighs> Stream so far is good. I, I, I didn't notice this before, but I'm pretty sure those are some legs dangling from the ceiling chat. That's definitely a body. So far, so good. Plenty of jump scares. Chat, by the way, just pay attention. There will be times where I will need your advice on what to choose. There will be different choices offered to us. And we need to figure out what we want to do. So just be on the lookout. Heck no. Oh, oh, heck no. I know. This is a rust bucket, dude. Everyone's barefoot in here. Ah. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Shit on a shamrock. Oh, what boys. room oh boys hello because they were frightened by what they saw oh, oh boys oh boys great perfect wonderful Holy mackerel. <laughs> do we do it? Do we open up? Do we do we don't disturb. We don't disturb their resting places, boys. We don't do that. No touchy. No touchy. What am I hearing? No touchy. This freaking game. Don't you know who I am? Do we open we anything and everything that closes? We ain't we ain't opening back up. No way, dude. Shut your face. It's Fliss. Boys, it's Fliss. No shot, dude. No, that's it. That ain't Fliss. I thought that was Fliss. Crap, dude. We might have just killed Brad. Like, let me get a bite of this food real fast. <sighs> Who's that? Who's there? Get away.
I know, right? Because I'm actually doing something. Rather than just sitting and chilling. Ah, no. No, I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Drop down? Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? There's some sort of altercation. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need that. Yeah, boys. We ready now. You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. Nope. No, we ain't. Let's drop down now. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no. Send it, boys. Send it. Holy crap, boys. It's getting it's getting hairy right now. It's it's getting hairy out there, boys. Are you sure? Oh my It's getting hairy out here, boys. Wait. Was that What is going on here? Was, what was that? Was that someone in plaid shorts? The frick is that, dude? Gun casing. Well, we lost that club when we when we when we sent it off the off the way. Oh snap! Oh boys! Oh, oh frick, we missed it! Oh no! Oh crap, dude! Brad wasn't zombied yet. She's tripping. But dude, we almost, we almost lost it there, boys. We almost lost it there. This place is not right. No, it ain't, dude. This What's feels. Going it's, on here? it's got, it's got the shining vibes. Major shining vibes. Good thing we picked up the knife. Hey, did you guys see that? If we did not pick up the knife, there was no shot. We were freaking getting out of there. Because we stabbed that guy in the in the head. Who's this? Somebody's doll? Huh? 
All right, dude. Okay. Oh, gosh, dude. Chat, do we open this? I swear, if we open this, I'm going to smack your face. I'm going to smack you guys. I'm going to smack your heads in the chat. Oh, that's not too bad. It's just a little sailor boy. Are you are you kidding me? You gonna put that in right now? Jolly Jack? Yeah, we're doing it. We're full send. Full send. Jolly Jack is tripping. What is this? Oh snap, dude. This is we Cabal should silently assemble. Oh, we ain't we ain't freaking reading this, dude. No, heck no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No thanks, dude. We don't mess with this stuff. We don't mess with this. Oh, heck no. We don't play with that stuff. Some blood on the ground. Some bloody footprints. Oh, boys. This thing. Let's keep your head on straight. This can't be good. Ooh, there's a picture. Premonition. Oh, it looks like someone's drowning. Looks like someone's drowning. All right, I got you, lads. We're gonna we're gonna exchange that den coin. Here we go. Uh, yes. Bloody curtains. What is this, boys? This is too weird. What the heck is this? Is that are we stepping in blood right now? Oh, we, we, we are not opening up that casket. We are not going to open that up and, and unleash whatever evil's in there. Oh, heck no. No shot. What is that? Blood? Is that... Is that blood flowing through here? We ain't open that up, chat. Chat, we ain't opening up whatever evil that is, dude. Tread, I'm sorry, man, but when it comes to Fliss, it's Operation Safe Fliss. We protect her at all costs. Ooh, we're outside finally. Open things, open all things. I'll, I'll open things for bits and donos. How about that? Wait, what? Uh, what? Excuse me? What? Everything just changed. No, that was rain. What the? What the heck? Oh, boys. Yeah, she was she was walking in some kind of hallucinating dream. Back outside? Cannot. But we can. But we can't. She doesn't want to. 
Um, wait, I'm, am I mistaken, chat, or are these the boxes that got struck by lightning in the very beginning of the move? Yeah, yeah, chat. These are the boxes that got struck by lightning in the beginning of the game. And this is this these boxes is where all that that yellow mustard gas came out of. We are not going to open up that stuff, dude. No way. We ain't opening up that stuff. Brother, Brad. Brad. Yeah, it was a hallucination. Hallucination. Ah! Hey. Chill, Brad. dude. What are you? Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Stop it! Ah! Brad, stop! Chill, Brad. Ah. 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 What the fuck? Ah. Hey! What the, the heck is Brad on, dude? Maybe it's that, that gas that's making everyone think there's zombies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. We saw this in the premonition. Wait, who's behind them? Sorry, chat. Frame rate, frame rate's getting uh, pretty gnarly. I, I have, I have this game on on uh, low quality, by the way. Oh, it's his boy. It's her boyfriend. Hold on, chat. Let me see if we can do anything more. Let's see. Graphics. Low. Shadows. Depth of field. Off, off, off. Let's limit the frames. How about that? Okay. All right. That should help. Open your eyes. You ain't scaring me. What the heck? What the? What? What? Other guy, they look the exact same, chat. It's your girl. Grab the knife. What? You you okay? I don't know what just happened. What the heck just happened? Wasn't there a third person in there? Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! Oh, he's right there. <gasps> Dude, what the heck 
is this? think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far maybe and don't be cheap I mean you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that you get you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift so if you want to feel free to pull the old plug get rid of these guys I'm with you I mean these guys are fucking crazy they're chasing us around the ship <sighs> what the heck Oh man, get away from her. Get away from that girl, dude. We gotta get out. I gotta find everybody. I need something. It's, something is fucking with me. Oh god, this music, dude. This music. <laughs> See you later. Have a good one. Have a good shoot, Lazarus. Let the distributor cap break, chat. No way. Man overboard. Ever see reports of a man overboard. Ensure all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in search and recovery of the casualty. This was no accident. I saw him jump. Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. Dead men tell no tales. It's fucking with me, man. It's just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. Mm -hmm. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just fucking with me, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just fucking with me. That as a weapon. Not even one. Ghost. Ghost. Oh man. Who this guy, dude? Who is this guy? 
If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Chopping my burrito right now. We got some whiskey. Probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. What? Are you kidding me, dude? I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Uh, no. Should. But should I? Yeah, I should. Uh, Chad, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Are we taking a look? We're taking a look. <clears throat> oh, what? Well, all right. So how do I pry the son of a bitch open? I gotta find something to pry the door open. Scott's gonna have to at least enough of the door.
Oh my gosh. No freaking shot, dude. She's crawling on the side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, dude. If we confronted her, we, there was a potential we could have pushed her off, dude. That would have been bad. Come on! Oh, crap. Fuck! He's here! What's the matter, Creepo? Don't shut up to me anymore! Yeah, I went to jump, but then we snapped out of it before we jumped. Oh, dude, there's a guy in the trench coat. Jumping, boys, we're jumping. Shit. No! Come on! Do I suck at this? Hey, sis, what's up? Out of the way! No! Help! Ah! Oh, We lost one. Oh, crap. Lost him, dude. Wait, how's Brad here? Wasn't Brad running away from everyone? <laughs> F, F in the chat for Alex, boys. feeling right now I, I mean not exactly but we need to focus on getting out of here first you know before we think about anything else okay it's, it's too much I can't hey look me neither but, but that's why we need to help each other okay we're stronger together right at least that way we'll have a chance I know. He's not even phased. That's what I'm thinking. <sighs> oh, hello. Yo, what up, Atreyu? You to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? 
What up, friends? Thank you so much for w welcome into the welcome into the show. Now you're one down. Yo, what up, Twitchy? We're one down, boys. And poor Alex. Poor Alex. We lost one. There are worse ways to go. <sighs> Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. It's my first playthrough, Miss Mando. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Yes, please, Daddy. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less mm. supernatural. Hmm. How's your rate, Atreyu? Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Mm. Uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I tray you. We're reaching the end of our stream, my man. We are three hours and 30 minutes into the stream. We got to end it. I got some errands and stuff to run. Thank you very much for, uh, for rating though. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, Shucks, man. I was, uh, uh, yeah, you know, if it's because we hit that chapter with the guy, um, that every, every time we, we go we hang out with the dude, it's, he's, it's like the end of a chapter. So I figured that was the best spot. I didn't want to, I didn't want to get started on the next part and then get, get invested. And then now I'm like an hour and a half late, <laughs> but, uh, shucks. Yeah, Miss Random. I don't know. I don't know if you played this game before, but this is my first blind playthrough. I've never played this game before. Uh, we, we are Operation 100%. We're Operation Protect Fliss at all costs. She's the queen. But, but the way that guy was like, not everyone is as they seem. I feel like because Brad was running away from Fliss and then... And then uh, Conrad almost jumped off the smokestack, and then it was Fliss right there. You know, I think I think something's up with Fliss. That's my theories, though. That's my theories. 